Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do some propagating. Um, well, I've been propagating um, and I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Awkward. Like the video, please like and subscribe. Right then, so here we have a beautiful Violet Hill and she is so violet, if that's the correct colour, they call her Violet Hill. Um, she has some other names, each plant, Trades Scantia. And um, she is quite beautiful, nice and bushy, vibrant, and she looks lovely in the sunshine. She loves the sunshine. Now, that one is wonderful, but they can, over time, get a little scraggly, especially if perhaps they've been at the back of a shelf or they've been in the sun too much, too long. You know, it is possible you've forgotten to water them or something, which, you know, it does happen. And unfortunately, I have one that is rather like that. So I wanted to show you how you can re-bush up your existing plant if your plant has gone a little bit like this one. So what we have here is a very um, bare surface at the top and very long, long, catching on everything, very long, uh, I don't know what you call them, but anyway, they're very long. <laughs> And some of, some of these are, are still quite nice. And one or two have lost some leaves as well. But, you know, they can bush up again. So we will give them a chance. But what we're going to do, in the past, when I saw that she was thinning out, I took some cuttings. And basically, you, you just take some cuttings. That one's got quite a lot of roots. So I'm trying to show you one. You don't cut them with roots, obviously. You cut them, give yourself a certain amount of length, and then you pull off the last few leaves. This one should have gone. And then you put them in water, and something like a month, you'll notice that the roots are starting to grow. Now, these have been in water for a little bit more than a month, and uh, my roots, some of my roots are very long. It's quite amazing, really. And you just put them in water in a sunny windowsill. Um, I would say west or easterly. Don't don't put them in the, the southern windowsill uh, because they're so, you know, they're just beginning. We don't want we don't want them to dry out or anything before we have a chance to repot them and, and give them a chance of life. So, um, so you put them in water and you put them on a windowsill and you leave them for a while and just keep looking at them. Change the water once a month. Just keep the water clean. And over time, they will grow these roots. They don't have to be that long. About an inch will be fine. This one is just a, a wee bit long. And what you do is you put them in water and you have several, six maybe, if, if you can take six. And then with that, um, you can grow them on. Now, this one is so long and wispy that this one here, has just gone completely crazy. It's lost all its leaves and gone really long. So I'm going to cut that one off. Put it at the front. That one's okay. This one is a bit worse for wear. It's not really worth even trying to root that. That one's okay. Um, these are fine and this one has gone the way of the dust so we'll forget that one as well so now we've got a few i think i'll just cut that end off leave you for a bit and see what happens with you this one has got some small leaves so it is growing and it's on the top so we're going to leave that one for now see how that goes 
just clean up any dead leaves, just get them off, um, and so that you can basically start again, give the plant a chance. So I'm going to use this because basically I've forgotten to bring my little tool again. And we're going to take some of these long ones that I've got and we're going to put them in this one and let them cascade and we're going to re redo the whole thing so I think I'm cluttering myself up here so I'm going to move some stuff around and then I'm going to get this down onto the floor onto the table that is so that we can see it so I hope that you can see it take it down and then think about a strategic pot place to put it so I think we'll have something over here so make a little hole about an inch or so deep to give it a chance and then take your root and just pop it in nice and simple and put it all the way in there don't break it if you can help it make sure that the stiff part goes in as well it's not as easy as you think to do it because it's it's quite stiff and the, the, the roots are <laughs> they're so fine it's ridiculous I have to, I'm going to make this deeper make it deeper Don't think about it just make it deeper goodness it's pushed up quite a lot there that's better put that in there we go that's one so already we have a new one starting to look longer so I'm hoping to get a few more here if I can get them in so I'll go and find another one and this one came out a few minutes ago so I'm going to try and put this in is it intertwined with yet another one they are very fine to have to deal with so I think I'm going to put this one somewhere to the, to the back of it we're doing perhaps two or three at the same time I think because they aren't that easy to get them back in but once they're in hey presto we are going to have what looks like a new plant And then I've got a few more over here, so I'm going to try and separate them if I can. There's one here. She's looking good. It's nice to see them going back in the soil because I've had them on my windowsill for a while now. And I've been going to do this video for quite a while and um, where are we not quite there yet are we we need another one might as well just put them all in because they've got roots and um, they look better going in oh, right 
is starting to thicken up a bit. I'd be crazy if I had some that were, I think I've got one or two that actually will cascade down because they're quite long. You can just get them out. They tangle up a lot as well with each other. And it's really difficult to separate them. While they're rooting, they still sometimes lose a leaf. They've even got roots coming from other parts of themselves. <laughs> oh, it's really difficult. I'm going to have to snip you here, I think. So, put this one. a bit of space here so she could actually go here and make everything look a bit fuller and that's the idea because that's what you want you want to replace that dried up barren little areas there we go we're already starting to look better aren't we absolutely so much better We'll just see if we can put a few more in. If I can find them. We've got something over here which is quite long. Hey, he's a handsome boy. So maybe towards the back a bit. When you've done this, best thing to do is give, give the whole pot a good soak so that they have a chance because they will be changing from the roots that have got used to the water to then having to get used to the soil. So you need to keep an eye on how dry your pot's going to be over the next few days. Um, actually, the next couple of weeks is what I really mean. And... Um, a little long really that one but it's all looking a lot better to what it was and so there you are you can see now how with a little effort and a little time you can just replace these areas that have become barren with some healthy cuttings that's got a good root on it. I might be able to put it in. I'll try this one. She's only got a little root though. I think maybe I should just leave her to keep going for a bit longer. And that one. We've got two there. They're just going to have to root up. I'll let them root up, I think. And I think I'll snip this here. that one in water as well then in you know as I say about a month just pop them back in the water and little cuttings on your windsill and there we go and she's not perfect but she will grow back in and you I mean I could cut this one here um, and then you know root her look at the leaves on that one beautiful leaves lovely leaves and they're thickening up now at the top which is what I want so those cuttings I'm going to put at the top um, you could put them in some people put them directly in the soil you know with the soil moist and wet but um, 
I, I like to give them a bit of time in the water to, to get a good root system before I put them in the soil. And then eventually we are growing our beleaguered little plant back to full health. But that one is bothering me. I'm just wondering whether I should just cut it. I should just cut it. It just seems such a shame. I hate cutting them really. This is half the problem. You've got to be a bit ruthless because if you don't, then you know you're just you're just not going to be able to do your trick. And it's it is magic. It's just a lovely magical moment. Another one. Um, I'll leave it for now. Leave it for now. And then, if you've got something a little high, a little stand, or as I'm using here, this is a candlestick. Just put her on. She should be in a white pot, really. I do have plenty of pots that are all over the place. That's the trouble. I should have brought one to the table. Anyway, there you are. And so now you can see how you can bring back this one and you could even take cuttings from the big bushy one like here for example uh, and put this one in some water and then add it to that one so that you can help this other plant get back into its former glory so it's a lovely little trick you can do um so i hope you've enjoyed those few minutes just to uh uh, see how you can bush your plants back up. You don't have to let them dry out and think, oh, you're no good anymore and pop it in the bin. It's, it's no point. All you've got to do is take your cuttings, let them sit in the water for a month, give them a bit longer if necessary, wait for your inch to half, one and a half inches of roots, and then very carefully put them back in the top. Then just water it and leave it to do its thing. I wouldn't put it too close to the sun um, when you've just done this because it need those roots they have to get into that soil don't they and they have to you know dig in and, and get rooted so to speak so if you put them straight back on the windowsill they're just going to dry up and it's not fair on that plant you've just got it going again so so there you are then so if you've enjoyed that video um, I hope you'll like and subscribe and check out my other videos um, I've just done the Alocasia collection, uh, Fabulous Favourites, 101 Calathea, that one is quite good, that shows you again quite a lot of information about soil and root system and how to repot your Calathea or how to bring it back from life if it's gone the way of some of them where they go kind of brown and, and lifeless and lose leaves and you you know you think oh well you're on the way to the bin but really you're not on the way to the bin all you have to do is repot it so you could check that one out um and um hopefully i'm going to do an autumn tour video as well with various plants so hope you've enjoyed that please like and subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you again in the next one bye